Hello y'all and welcome to this tutorial on how to get the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. If you're interested in pursuing a career in cloud computing, AWS certifications are a great way to showcase your skills and stand out to potential employers. With more and more companies moving to the cloud, having certifications can set you apart from the competition and open up a world of opportunities for you. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing some of the best resources and tips to help you prepare for and pass the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam on your first try. Yes, you heard me correctly, your first try. So, whether you're new to cloud computing or a seasoned pro, let's get started on your journey to becoming AWS Certified. To get started, go to the AWS Certification homepage by visiting aws.amazon.com forward slash certification. From here, you can learn more about the different AWS certifications, including the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This is the foundational certification to get started with, and we can see no prior experience is needed. Before you start studying for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam, it's important to understand what the exam covers. We can click on the Cloud Practitioner badge and then look at the exam guide to see the domains to focus on. To get to the guide, we can scroll down on the Cloud Practitioner page and it should not be too far away from the introduction of the certification. So the exam guide will be highlighted right under here on the module that says what does it take to earn the certification. So we can download this exam guide and we can look at what kind of topics that will be covered in the exam. If we scroll down on the guide all the way to the breakdown, we can see that this guide provides a detailed breakdown of the domains and what percentage of the exam each domain is covered. These domains are cloud concepts, security and compliance, technology, and billing and pricing. Now that we've seen which topics will be covered, we can navigate back to our cloud practitioner page. Once back on the page, we can also download sample questions to see which sample questions to expect. These sample questions are not as many as we would hope for, but it would give you a basic idea of what to expect in the exam. You can also use these questions to help you identify areas of which you need to improve. Before we get ahead of ourselves, I will outline a few free resources you can use to prepare for this exam. Number one, we have to navigate back to our Cloud Practitioner page over here. We can close these two for now as we don't need them at the moment. And what I'm here to talk about is that AWS offers a free digital training course for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. We can access this digital training by scrolling down on this same page and clicking on training built by AWS experts. That will be this tab right over here. I would recommend starting with the Cloud Practitioner Essentials digital training over here. Then later on, if you have time, feel free to look at the Power Hour. But for this course, we're going to focus on the Cloud Practitioner Essentials. So we can right click, open it in a new tab, go to that new tab, and we can start the Cloud Essentials learning plan. For this, you're going to need to enroll into AWS Skill Builder. So click Enroll, sign into AWS Skill Builder. Login with your Amazon account and you should be free to enroll. Click start learning now and you'll be on your way. If we click play on this course, we can see that the course provides over six hours of video content, as well as interactive quizzes and knowledge checks. This course covers all exam topics and is a great way to get started with your AWS certification journey. Once you've completed this digital training course and you've taken this exam prep down here, it's important to test your knowledge by doing a few labs and simulating your skills in a more interactive environment. AWS Quest is a great tool to practice what we've learned. We can get to the AWS Quest by going back to our original tab. This is the tab we started with for the Cloud Practitioner. So once you're on this tab, we're gonna click on exam prep with AWS Skill Builder. Once we click that, AWS Quest will be right under here as the third option. So we're gonna click that. 
once we've clicked that, we're going to see a subscription price for AWS Skill Builder, which is $29 a month billed to your AWS account. But we don't have to worry about it for now because the Cloud Practitioner Quest is free to practice. We can see the free hyperlink down here below in the About This Course section. So we're going to click that. And since you already signed into your AWS Skill Builder, which we did earlier, obviously you need your Amazon account. Any Amazon shopping account will let you sign into Skill Builder. But once you sign in, if you haven't done the course yet, you're going to see the option to enroll. And once you click enroll, you're going to be able to play the simulator. The simulator is a way of playing as an architect, solving people's problems, in turn knowing how services work with real hands-on experience. I have already played the Cloud Quest simulator, but you can always go back into it if you need to brush up on your skills by clicking the Play Cloud Quest Cloud Simulator. Click Start Now. The game will load up, and all you have to do is start the game. We can see this looks like a real game where you can click on the mobile phone and you'll be having uh, missions or roles that you can click on here, which will end up taking you into a sandbox environment that you can utilize to practice what you've pretty much learned. How to use S3, how to use EC2, how to use EBS, EFS, and so on. So this is a very, very good interactive environment to practice, but also it's very interactive where it makes you feel like you are doing something. This is more similar to what an architect would do in a real world scenario. So now that we've talked about this, I'll move on to talk about the next thing on my agenda. Another way to visit the Skill Builder page anytime is going to explore.skillbuilder.aws. And if you're already signed in, you'll see a few of your courses that you've registered for. To see the variety of courses, you can click the hamburger menu right over here, visit the course catalog, and you should see a ton of featured content that's free, including some that needs a subscription, which is the $29 a month that we saw earlier. But anyways, once you've completed the practitioner cloud quest, it's important to test your knowledge with a practice exam. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Practice Exam includes 65 multiple choice questions and a time limit of 90 minutes. The practice exam is a great way to simulate the exam experience and identify areas where you need to improve. If you're keen to stick with AWS resources, you'll need the AWS Skill Builder individual subscription of $29 a month for the entire Skill Builder platform in order to access the exam prep, which includes hands-on labs, additional practice questions, and a full-length practice exam. To get to the practice exam, we can use the search menu over here and search for Cloud Practitioner Exam. Search that up, and it should be the exam prep that's six hours long. Just like I said, this prep requires the $29 a month fee for the AWS Skills Builder so that you can access the additional practice questions the hands-on labs and a full-length practice exam. I know this tutorial was meant to utilize free resources. So another great way to prepare for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is to utilize some other free resources like Tutorials Dojo Free Trial, Coursera, and the Cloud Academy. I'll include links for all these resources in the description box as well. For a full set of AWS practice exams, I'd recommend checking out this Udemy course. I know this isn't free, but trust me, it will help you pass at the first try. This course includes a set of 6 perfect replicas of the exam itself with 65 questions each that you can't really go wrong on if you do all 6 exams. To save money on this course, I'll try this method to aim for a cheaper price. If you just copy the link, open a new incognito browser and paste it, sometimes we can see that this price kind of changes. We can see here it says 76% off and previously on our last window, we can see that it's only $29 and it was 37% off. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So try your luck, try different browsers, but 
you might be guaranteed to get a cheaper price because when I did this course, I got it for probably like $12. So it's something to consider because Udemy doesn't really cash your websites as much. So you can always go incognito and try to bargain your price down. Another great thing about this course is it gets updated with newer questions whenever AWS updates their question set. That way they accommodate for any new scenarios covered in the exam. So I guarantee if you do all 390 questions, some of them might be similar but worded differently, you will be guaranteed to actually pass the exam. After you've completed these exams, I would say that you've actually completed your preparation and it's time for you to register for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. The exam registration fee is $100, but if you're a student or faculty member, you can apply for a free exam voucher through the AWS Educate program. You can get to the AWS Educate program by typing into the box aws.amazon.com forward slash education forward slash AWS Educate. With this program, you can build cloud skills at your own pace on your own time and completely for free. Amazon stated that better. So you can register for this program and you can kick off your cloud journey that way. I'll navigate back to our very first tab and explain more about the exam. So if we scroll all the way up, we can click schedule an exam. But before you schedule an exam, I want to tell you a brief overview of the exam. The exam is a multiple choice exam with a time limit of 90 minutes. It includes 65 questions and covers the AWS cloud concepts, AWS services, security, and pricing. If you've done all six Udemy practice exams, then you're guaranteed to actually have a higher chance at passing this exam. Like I said, this is exactly how I passed my cloud practitioner exam. To pass the exam, you need to score at least a 700 out of a thousand. Down here, we can also see that AWS has an exclusive offer where you can take a free retake exam between March 15th and May 31st. So if you feel like you're gonna be ready within this period, you can be eligible for a free retake if you need it. So schedule an exam, sign up for a certification account, and you'll be on your way to becoming an AWS architect. That's it for our tutorial on how to get the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, mostly for free. With the right preparation and resources, you can pass the exam and validate your knowledge of AWS and cloud computing. Thank you for tuning in and good luck. Happy building.